Good morning everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. Having our early morning starts got a lot earlier over the last few weeks, Pops. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Come on in. Wee wees. An improvement on the majority of the last seven, eight days. Eight days is it we've had now? Good girl. You are so clever. Good girl, Pops. Come on in, back to bed. Back to bed. Back to bed. So yes, that is actually an improvement <laughs> on the majority of the last seven to eight days. Seven to eight, yeah. Generally, we have been starting our mornings at half past four, haven't we? Yes, we have. And that's because as soon as the birdies start singing and the sun starts shining or rising, she has been waking up and needing a wee wee, which is absolutely fine because she's been so good and managing to go all night from like half past 10, 11 o'clock to that time, which is fantastic. However, today it's been slightly later. I would imagine that's because it doesn't look like the sun is going to be shining and we have had an absolute downpour, a lot of rain overnight. So it was a great day for me to decide to show you guys my morning routine. Anyways, I'm not going to pretend that I then go out and do the horses, because I really don't. We do generally go back to bed for about an hour, hour and a half, maybe even two, depending on what time we then both naturally wake up and then we go out and do the ponios. So back to bed for us and yeah, pony equestrian morning routine content will resume in a couple of seconds. Also, not gonna lie, it normally takes longer than that. So she has been a model pupil this morning because yeah, that was literally three or four minutes and back in. Okay. And then go out to Sweeter. Hello. Oh, you want your breakfast? I expect the ponies do too. Can't have breakfast without a tickle tummy first, though, can we? Hey, me. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> come on then. Yeah, come on. Come on, then. you go first. Good morning. Hello. FYI, anybody new here? This is not Bertie. Morning, Banks. Morning, Dinkle. And good morning, Louie. <laughs> this is the new kid on the block, guys, for those of you that may not have seen one of the most recent videos. He's been here. Oh, we've got a bit of a gunky eye. That's from those pesky flies, isn't it? He's been here three weeks now. And as you can see, from all the shavings on his rug, and in his hair, he's very relaxed and made himself very much at home, haven't you? Yeah, and you'd love to be out there being friends with Sir Banksy. However, Sir Banksy unfortunately is not very relaxed about the situation. But I'm going to get them breakfast and then I will explain a little bit more. So I'm not sure why, as part of my routine, the cats get fed first, but it's something that I have majority of the time always done so they get their biscuits in a bowl don't they which mummy loves most OC who is Reggie's mummy always favours the bickies oh I don't need three pouches anymore do I I sadly always pick up three on autopilot but yeah you favour the bickies and you favour the meat don't you so you get a pouch each and you go back over here 
They're both the same flavour. And Bicky's in the middle to share. And then we crack on. We're getting the horses brekkie ready. You can stand up there, Reg. It's rained in the night. You're both wet. There okay. Boy. So, brekkie for the boys will be balancer for Banksy. He has one scoop of the blue chip calming balancer, as he's always had. Louis was having a bit of that because I wasn't really entirely sure 100% what to give him. He only had chaff and a bit of, I think he said ease and excel if he needed energy when he was competing stroke showing. So he's been having a bit of chaff and pony nuts and a little bit of Banksy's balancer, but I have now popped him on the blue chip low calorie balancer just to watch his weight and assist with that, but ensure he's still getting all the goodness and nutrients that he needs. They are then having some fibre nuts. Why is the scoop not in there? Because it's in there. And again, not many at all. Half a scoop for Louis. Ooh, that's not Banksy's. Tiny bit more for Banksy. And the most dinkle amount for Dinky. Followed by chaff, I use the Thunderbrooks Healthy Herbal Chaff because it's molasses free and we don't need any extra added spark. Banks has a little bit extra of that. Dinks literally a handful. <laughs> and that's it for the mornings. All of the other supplements and stuff I generally give in the evenings when I've got that bit more time because most of them are purely just once a day feed. Then we simply have a splash of water with some assistance of my starving glamorous assistant, Dinklebert. It'll stir up. A tiny bit more on Louise. And a tiny bit more on Banksy's. And then we are good to go. You get them in order though, sorry boys, don't you? Come on then. So in order to slightly ease Sir Banksy's jealousy or territorialness, he always gets his food first. So pop him in there because you will be in for the day. Then little Dinkle Bum will be next. And he knows it, don't you? Uh, bring yours round, jump the fence. Whee, scare Reggie. Come on, Dinkle Bum. Ready? He says, yep, I know where it is. A little bit of dinks ASMR for you guys. I mean, I personally prefer the sound of a horse chewing hay, not chewing microphones or chaff. <laughs> You're not having round two of breakfast, Reg. No way, Jose. You're a big enough boy as it is. And then last, but by no means least, this gorgeous boy. Who oh, loves his food, don't you? Yes, you do. Right, pop that down. It is very warm here at the moment, guys, and he wouldn't normally be rugged. So he would normally just have his fly rug put on and go straight out. However, last night we did a bit of canter work, didn't we? And you got very hot and sweaty. And then you had to have a wash off. So we put the dry rug on you and it's safe to say you've definitely enjoyed having a lovely lie down. Whee. And the good thing about the dry rugs is you literally, well, not near your food. Give them a little shake. And the bedding comes off. So off with that one, on with this one. This one is one that Tommy sent down with him and it's actually really good because it's super lightweight. I'm always a bit indecisive with fly rugs as to whether when it's warm and muggy they're better off with or without them on, obviously depending on the severity of the horse flies. Because Banks is a hot horse and he always gets super hot when he's got a fly rug on and almost becomes more irritable than if the odd fly was landing on him because he's so warm. However, 
He's been wearing this one the last few days and he hasn't been remotely sweaty underneath, although your head does need to come up for me to pull it forward and do that up, doesn't it, boy? It's three weeks he's been here now and he is well settled, but unfortunately Banksy's opinion towards him at present hasn't changed much. Look, he can't do that with that down there. Can we do a balancing act? Needs to come forward a bit, doesn't it? There we go. Woo, this is talented. Woo. Talented Tina. Whee. Take that out of your hair first. You go out, need your mask, it's on the fence. Steady, steady, steady. So as you can see here guys, there's no qualms here between Louie and Dinks. They are good friends already and very sweet to each other, aren't you? It's just Banksy that is the grot bag, isn't it, Banks? You're a jealous guy, or territorial as we've been saying it. Apparently horses don't actually experience the jealousy emotion, I've been told. Can't say how much I agree with that because you can't have the mic, Louis. I think it is jealousy, but you know, I'll stick with territorial. But yeah, he pulls the most awful faces at you, isn't very nice to you, does try to bite you, doesn't he? And it's not very pleasant. So they are still currently separated. And at the moment, this routine of him in by night, him out by night, them in by day, you out by day is currently what is working for us. I do try and get them to have a little hello and be nice, but as you probably can't see because we're behind the camera, Banksy's not very pleasant at all. And poor little Louis, you're not nice, are you? Don't be evil. Don't be evil. You're a grot bag. Poor little Louis would happily say hello and you're just a proper grouch, aren't you? Hey? Yes, you are. Right, Louis, out we go. Because you were ridden last night, it's Banksy's turn to be ridden today. You need your fly mask on. You then realise you didn't re-enclose the pen and spend 10 minutes chasing the shuttle around the yard. Anyway, that's a good little workout for you, wasn't it, mister? Back in you go. So a hay net fill for Sir Banksy. This is actually what he had on the fence last night and he hasn't devoured the lot. So that does tell me that the last few days of rain is finally making the grass grow again. Hallelujah. And not only will it be making the grass grow, it'll also be softening the ground up so that fingers crossed we can eventually get back out I say back out, start out doing something this year. I realised the other day that I've actually only done one competition on Banksy this year and that was one measly dressage test and it's nearly July. That is proper disappointing. Although I say disappointing, it definitely has made me realise how much I do enjoy just hacking you and loving you and spending time with you because I do enjoy competing. I do enjoy the jolly of it, the going away with friends etc and having fun and increasing our bond together but I'm not really a competitive person so if I had to give up one it would definitely be the competing over the hacking because we're very fortunate enough to have super bridleways around here, some lovely tracks and this glorious weather has made it fun to get out and explore them a little bit more than we usually would have when we would be pushing ourselves to train for each phase of eventing. So it has been nice to enjoy a bit of chill time, hasn't it, mate? Especially in this hot weather, hard ground, because I wouldn't have been eventing him anyway, because his leggies are far too precious to risk. There you go, my boy. You're wondering where Louis's gone. You're bound to do a wee straight away, because that is what you do as soon as you come into a nice fresh bed. You are slightly worried about where Louis's gone because he's gone out of sight, hasn't he? Definitely no food left in there, boy. Let your breakfast go down and then in about half an hour's time, we will take you for said hack. I do need to get you back in a school soon because we have got an exciting trip away in wah, about 10 days time. I haven't had full clarification of it just yet. So I haven't actually 
shared it publicly what we're doing, but I'm just hoping that both of us are fit enough for it. He has been back in work, what, five weeks now? And he did only have five weeks out, so I'm thinking he will be okay. He's feeling fabulous. I just need to get him in a school and see how he's feeling on both reins. We have had a little jump and we could definitely do with having another jump before heading there too. So yeah, I'm feeling positive about it. I'm sure he'll enjoy it. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I just need that clarification before I can share it with you guys because I don't want to say anything and then it not happen. On the note of not saying anything, I haven't let you guys know that there is a new Y Food flavor been released. Some of you might not even know that the Lassies are back. They are no longer called Lassie, they are called Fruities and they do still have the same delicious fruity taste. It has now been launched in tropical. You can still get mango and strawberry, and there is also a new peach flavor too. So they're available on the website now. So Lassie lovers do get in there quick. Unfortunately, no lemon cheesecake yet. That was a limited edition. I am pushing to try and get that one back because that is by far my favorite, but this tropical is super tasty. It's orange, pineapple, coconut, and passion fruit all in one bottle and it is yum scrum. What I love about the Lassies over the traditional Y foods is that these are much more sharper in flavor and more yogurt like. So quite a different consistency to the original milky milkshake style ones. He's like, can I have a wee in peace please, mum? I knew you wanted a wee. Dinks, do you want to assist with this? So they're high in fiber, high in protein, give you absolutely everything you need. They've got 26 vitamins and minerals and they fill you up for four to five hours. Oh, you've got easy bed in your eye. That's not a good look, boy. Oh, there we go, gone. I'll be honest, I've been a bit guilty of neglecting myself over the last 10 days or so because I've just been puppy mad. I have been getting up, waking up 4.30ish. I have sometimes been going back to sleep, but generally I'm just stirring. And then I've been out enjoying both boys. I knew you needed a wee. And I haven't been ensuring I get enough fiber and protein. So these are gonna help. And now we've got some new flavors for me to test out. Then it's gonna be a good way of ensuring I get some more goodness in me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then the Y Foods are a complete meal replacement in a bottle. Great for days when you just need to grab and go when you're a busy bee and don't have time to prepare a lovely nutritional breakfast or lunch. They're super tasty. As I say, the fruity ones are by far my favorite. But if you have a sweet tooth, apparently the chocolate one is the one to go for or the salted caramel but they are more like a milkshake consistency this is more like a yogurt consistency and I am here for the fruities my discount code is tina-youtube I'll pop the link in the description box below it's super important that we fuel our bodies for our busy days playing ponies isn't it dinks do you agree with me we wouldn't not feed you would we so why do we quite often not feed ourselves hmm Good boy. Right, let's get mucking out. And before we know it, the half an hour will be up and you and me, boyo, will be able to get on the road. Yeah, you're nodding and agreeing? Yeah, you do. You love mummy time, don't you? You love mummy time just as much as mummy loves Banksy time. Do, 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 do. Thankfully, Louis isn't actually too dirty in the stable. So Banksy's very clean. He always poos in one big pile. So I was a little bit concerned that I might have a terror in the stable, but I do think actually quite often geldings are more cleaner than mares. Let me know in the comments section, guys. Are you a gelding or a mare person? And which do you think are the cleanest in their bedroom? Easy bed is, as it says, so easy to muck out anyway, so it doesn't take very long at all. It is designed to be deep littered, so you literally just take the poos out. Although I will admit, with Dinks and Louis currently sharing, doing a bit of a desk swap on this bedroom, I um, have been taking the wet out as well, just to keep it clean and make sure that they are both happy boys. net top up for Dinglebert, aka Little Legs. And again, he hasn't eaten all of his overnight, which shows 
but there is still grass out there despite my paddocks looking relatively bare and that's also why he is in the smaller pen overnight and not having free rain free rain free roan <laughs> free roam not roan roam <laughs> of the two fields like banksy's got like he normally would or used to have because one i think it just gives louis a bit more company so that outside the stable door louis can see another pony when banksy ventures off down to the bottom field but also because there's a lot less grass in there for his round porky belly which over the last couple of weeks since i've been on it a little bit more has thankfully got smaller so i'm just going to pop this on the fence here for him then we literally just need to do a little poo pick in there and it'll be time to ride banks where are we going to go today hey where are we going to explore today Good exciting ride on Friday we have. Yeah, and no, there's nothing in my pockets. Right, I am going to go in and feed the puppy dogs. Check Robbo's okay, he'll be heading off for work soon. And then, yeah, I'll be getting ready to be sat behind his ears in the sunshine. The forecast actually said that it was going to be raining all morning this morning. And I was like, Tina, why have you chosen to film your summer morning routine when we have had five weeks of sunshine and then all of a sudden we have two or three days of rain in a row and you choose to do it over those days? But... The weatherman's on my side. It is gloriously sunny and it has been raining hard all night and that is how we like it. Rain by night, sun by day. Just could do with something to keep the pesky horseflies away. Ooh, filled that up too much. <laughs> So although we have automatic water in the field, I do like to, well, we don't, because if that section off and dinks is in there overnight, Banksy has to have this. Um, but also for when Louis is free roaming, I like to make sure there's a couple of different options to drink out of, because again, <laughs> if I wasn't friends with somebody, I wouldn't drink out of their bottle. So why would he want to drink out of the same water bowl as Banksy and vice versa. Maybe I'm overthinking that, but yeah, it's just what I like to do. It keeps me happy and both tend to intermittently end up empty. You were just going to show how you drink out of the water, weren't you, with your head under the fence. You've also got water in your stable, but you like to have it out that field trough. Yeah? Yeah, wiggle nose? What have you got? Have you got broccoli for breakfast? Is that your broccoli? Is that your favourite veg like mum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hello, my main man. Main man, you're going to have a haircut today too because you are very hairy and it's still very hot, isn't it? Right, Pops, in your pen to have your actual breakfast, please. You're not a breakfast person, are you? A bit like mum. Woohoo! She would much rather ignore breakfast and then eat loads at night. So she's very much like me. She, you'd rather play and crack on with her day. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Too busy for breakfast. Yeah. Good little drinker though, aren't you? Same as mum in that aspect too. for rain and we got it. I did a little bit of work, sat down for 20 minutes, half an hour, thought, we'll go out for a ride in a bit, Banks. And the heavens have well and truly opened. Look, it's horrendous, but we do need it. The ground needs it. Louis, this is where I regret now not having a third stable at the present, but you're under a tree, you don't seem to care. You don't mind, do you, mate? But I am definitely not going out there and poo picking for a moment. And I am definitely not riding either. So I'm going to end this vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching my new morning routine with my fur babies. You're glad you're in, aren't you? Hey? Yucky, yucky. Oh, it has taken a little bit of getting used to having three ponios again, but I am enjoying it. No regrets at all, despite Mr. Here being a bit of a jackass. Reverted to your old ways a little bit, haven't you? 
You're normally always in Mummy's Good Books, always an angel, and always my numero uno. Yes, you're always picking pockets too. That's one thing you also always do. But I'm thinking, fingers crossed, in time, it will get a bit better, just like the rain is starting to ease ever so slightly. It has improved, it has improved. It's not as bad as it was the first week or so. And our new routine is working well with these guys in by day, Louis out by day, and then these guys out by night and Louis in by night. He seems happy. Dinks is happy. You'll never be happy unless you get mummy to yourself, will you? Uh, but I'm happy and I'm glad I have all three fur babies, my puppy dogs and my puddy cats. And yeah, I just love being a fur baby mummy. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. I'm going to over and out. Even though the rain is dying off slightly, I am going to go inside, get dry, get changed, chill out for a bit and then potentially maybe ride this evening rather than this morning. Do like, comment, subscribe if you don't already. And I'll see you all in the next video, which potentially could be an extremely fun one. Back to doing normal things with my boy. <laughs> Over and out for now, though. Bye. That was a lot of rain. <laughs> yeah. Get me inside.